Emotional damage. So y'all know who Tom Cruise is, right? Right? Exactly. Apparently, my man is putting his pee pee in fishes. Let's go ahead and watch the video. I have nothing to say for this intro. I am low key traumatized just just talking about this. And uh, yeah. Okay, so it seems like the whole internet is finally catching on to Tom Cruise allegedly doing strange things with raw fish. Bro said there's plenty of fishes in the sea, literally. You heard about that asteroid, meteor, that's heading to Earth? Can it hurry up? Yes, no joke. Like I said, I did a whole video on it. There's a whole fucking thread on Reddit of, of people reporting these incidences. And they're from all over the world. And there were such commonalities between the events with subtle differences that i have a tendency to think it's not manufactured let me explain what? the first one says you know i was working in a grocery store at the the meat counter and in walks him with his bodyguards he comes up to the counter and at first i'm like is that really him but you know i'm gonna do my job right and he gets really picky. He wants a specific kind of fish at a specific length. And they did not have the length, length of, of fish, fish that, that he wanted. That's sus. <laughs> that is sus. A specific length. Is somebody gonna match my <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Mommy! Is this the earth? Is this the earth you birthed me into? Through a kind of tantrum and finally like, bitched and complained at them to give him the fish that he wanted right a fish that would do if they don't have it they don't have it why are you bitching about it why are you throwing a whole tantrum about it what go to another store <laughs> and he he asks that it not be wrapped so they just hand him a naked fish inside of a fold of paper and then he proceeds to walk to the back of the store and his bodyguards stand outside the bathroom while he goes in and he comes out without the fish. Hold up. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? First of all, that must mean that the bodyguards know what's going on. This is why if you're a celebrity, you got bodyguards, bodyguards around you. Probably they have them signing NDAs. Either way, these people are going to know like intimate details about you. It seems that's part of the job, you know. So when a bodyguard comes out and like exposes a celebrity, I kind of give them a little bit like credit because I'm like, yeah, you should know. Mm -hmm. So you want to tell me in the store. Okay, this man buys a naked fish in the store. He goes to the bathroom in the store. I, I, I kind of find that hard to believe because you're kind of making it obvious, aren't you? If you're going to buy a fish in the store. Tell them, don't wrap it up. Just, you know, use a little, you know, piece of paper. So that means they did have the fish. So he threw a the tantrum. They went and found some fish, wrapped it for him. His bodyguard was bodyguarding. He goes into the toilet. This person thought it was so weird that they decided to walk into the bathroom to see what where the fish went and found it unwrapped, unwrapped in, the, in trash. the trash can. Okay? That's where the, the thread begins. Then you say... And comes out without the fish. That's Loki, like the most suspicious thing ever. Because you're a big celebrity, you motherfuckers are gonna like wonder. They're not just gonna forget you. Isn't that just sloppy to me or what? What's going on? You ha? They're getting more of these. One person says they work in China. She was not kidding about worldwide. Mr. Worldwide. Baby! Niggas fucking I can't believe I am about to say this. Niggas fucking fish is worldwide. That's crazy. I just want to fuck all the fish in the world. And they were at a counter that was near the meat and fish area. And that he came in and and really was picky about it. Once again, someone from China is saying that Tom Cruise was picky about his fish. Ladies, you can be picky about your man. Okay, don't feel guilty about it. If Tom Cruise can be picky about a fish, you can be picky about a man. And, and he went into the back and he had the fish in there and <laughs> the manager goes in and finds it wrapped in a whole bunch of paper towels in the trash. Okay. Ooh. One time, shame on me. Second time, shame on you. Third time, baby's a pattern.
it on the second time now. Let's see the, the, the third time, okay? There's another one that took place in another LA. One. The drivers of his car pulled the car up in front of the grocery store. It's a little tiny mom and pop style grocery store. The bodyguard runs inside, gets a fish. It is red. The bodyguard knows what's up. They know what's up. They know what's up. If he's running out and getting the fish, protecting him while he's in the bathroom with the fish, they know what's up. They know what's up. This is crazy. Wrapped for him. As he's leaving the grocery store, he unwraps the fish, and then the window of the car rolls down about this much. This was witnessed by somebody on the street. And then the bodyguard takes the naked fish, not shitting you, and feeds it through the window into Tom Cruise's hands. Some people want to have that car smack their significant other. Other people want to have car smack with a fish. It's just how life works, you know? He said Tom Cruise looked giddy. Emotional damage! He was in Georgia, apparently filming something, and walked up into a pet store, not shitting you. And he got the fish person. A pet store equals a live fish. A pet store equals a live fish. Is this man fucking fishes that are alive? Now I have one question. Is it the front or the back? Which one is it? And he demanded that they provide for him a 20 inch long fish. of. God damn. 20 inches? 20 inches? 20 inches? He, he knows his fish. Oh, he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. It's given time and experience. Specific type, but they only had 10 inch long versions of said fish. He threw a temper tantrum, got so angry, threatened to get the person fired, and then stormed out of the store. The incident was recorded for our posterity by not the fish person, but the check stand person who watched him walk in, seek out the fish department, and then... I want to see that video. I'm going to look for it. If I, look, if, I, if I find it, I'll put it in here. I did not. Heard him shouting. One incident is somebody in a grocery store who's a fan who spots him across the store and then subtly follows him just to gawk at him while he's in the store. Sees him take a fish into the restroom. Says, what the fuck? The fuck? Sees him leave said restroom without said fish. <sighs> Isn't that messy? Am I tripping or is that not messy? If you're gonna put your your pee pee in a fish, why would you leave it out in the open, out in the wild? Ain't that evidence? Ain't that you like just being sloppy? Am I like why not try harder to like hide it? Unless he's been doing it for so long that he doesn't try anymore. Because what? What? You're not just nobody. Like motherfuckers are gonna notice you. Goes into the bathroom. Voila, the fish. The accounts. Are these people like opening the fish? <laughs> Are many and varied, but all with the same kind of underlining events. Tom Cruise is it is anxious. He's he's acting erratic. He walks into a store. He demands a fish of a specific type. He's very particular. He insists it not be wrapped. Is there a reason that this is happening? Is there something that I'm missing out on? Like, what, 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 what is it? Is fish Gucci just that great? Like, what is going on? Like, a man is coming in frustrated. I'm pretty sure you can get any woman you wanted. But why a fish? He's very itchy, like fidgety, awkward, weird. Like he's itching for some kind of release. Right. He walks in the store horny as fuck. Like, <laughs> y'all got some fish? Y'all got some fish? Y'all got some fish? Y'all got some fish over here? Yeah, I need some fish. You how long? 20 inches? 20 inches, oh my god. Yeah, I'm about to beat the fuck out of you! I'm about to beat the fish out of you! And then he goes into the bathroom with the fish, and then he leaves the fish there and walks out. Why would you leave the fish in the store? That is so weird. It's like you want us to find out about this. Why? Why you could have kept this to yourself? Oh my god. I don't get it though. Why not have your own aquarium of fishes at home? I don't know. I don't know. Why not like have this privatized? Why do you need to go to pet stores? And it just doesn't make sense. Maybe if you're traveling. I get that. Okay. But 
This is just a messed up. But yes, Tom Cruise fucks fish. I will never, ever, ever shy away from saying this because he's a cult leader. He fucks fish, you guys. I'm going to say it's true. Even if it's not, it's true for me. He Please fucks stop. fish. Please stop. I don't want to hear it. You can't. You need to. Don't say it like that. <laughs> don't say it like that. This is all allegedly from my video because I don't know. And he knows the names of them, too. He's like really into fish. The thing I want to know is, what is he doing with them? I mean, me, 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 me. He's giving the deep. I know, I know it's gross. Definitely. But why is he so anxious before receiving the fish? Why is he so, he's like itching for a drug hit or something. Right, that's what I'm talking about. Like, is there like something going on? Does he get a high out of it? Like, what, what is it? What is it? Is there like some kind of drug inside fish coochie? Like, what is it? You know what I mean? And why do you leave it at the store? Why not take it with you? Why not take it with you? I don't get that. I don't get why you would leave evidence behind. He's mean to the staff until he gets his fish. He's, you know, pushy and belligerent until he gets his fish. But then when he has his fish, he's fine again. I'm sorry, but does he just require the very specific type of orgasm he gets from said fish? Is there something else going on? What all is he doing? Because I, I got to be honest, it, it doesn't make much sense. And I take the fish with you. Take the fish and leave. Don't leave it in the store. I wasn't aware that you could put a wang dangle inside of a fish. Same. I mean, I suppose it stands to reason you could since they're big open mouth tubes. But why? When you could just fuck anything. You're Tom Cruise. You could literally walk into a street and say, is there any bitch here who wants to get laid? And it would be that simple and easy. So what's the fucking deal? What's with the fish? Why does it have to be a fish? Why can't it be like a side of beef? Audio above. Why weird. can't you put yeah. your sausage log where it belongs in a... Why can't it be a hot dog bun? Why does it have to be a fish? And, and also the pet shop. The pet shop. What was he going to do with the fish? They were... They were going to hand him a fish inside of a bag of water because it's a pet shop. Was he going to walk up into the bathroom, empty the bag out till the fish is flopping in the sink and then do something with the fish? Then just leave it in the trash can? I'm pretty sure that's animal cruelty. Wouldn't you get in trouble for killing an animal you purchased at a pet store? Like in their bathroom? Like, oh, good point. Good point. He was quite the team heartthrob. Yeah. Who'd have thought he turned out to be such a weirdo? What are you talking about? You know, those weird things they say he does down at the aquarium. Homer, that's just an urban legend. People don't do that type of thing with fish. I wonder where Troy is now. I thought you said Troy McClure was dead. I thought he disappeared after that scandal at the aquarium. No, what I said was he sleeps with the fishes. What I have is a romantic abnormality. One so unbelievable that it must be hidden from the public at all costs. And listen, you keep getting seen in public with human females, and I can get you working. Why, McClure, and what looks like a date? Here you go, boys. A little something for page one. Something happened to you. I'm in love. Troy McClure has finally met the woman of his dreams. Are you in the dream-making business? We may remember woman. Huh. Okay. With his high-profile romance, Troy's managed to shake the rumors that have dogged his career. One of the most coveted celebrity events of the century. Katie once told Cole told Seventeen Magazine that her dream was to marry Tom Cruise. I don't know. Maybe those rumors about his fish fetish weren't true after all. Can you imagine? Can you imagine your man putting his pee pee in a fish and then inside of you? This first one is from December 13th of 2020. Hey, I've been reading your site a lot lately and my interest has been piqued by the blinds about a man and a fish. I have an interesting story for you. I've lived in Vancouver, BC since 1998. I'm a makeup artist and have worked on numerous television shows that have filmed here since 1999. You probably won't believe this since it's the classic friend of a friend of a friend story, but I figured I'd share it anyway. In the year 2000, I got work in the makeup department for a show. My supervisor was a woman with whom I formed a close friendship. Even years after the show ended, we would text and Facebook message one another almost every day. 
So in early 2011, she sent me the most hilarious and bizarre text about something her cousin supposedly witnessed. Her cousin, who passed in 2015 in a car crash, was a celeb chaser. I'm going to skip this next paragraph because it doesn't really have anything to do with the story, but you can read it if you want. She heard that this A-plus list mostly movie actor was filming at the Vancouver Convention Center. She lived really close by at the time, so she jumped in her car and was there in about five minutes. She was too late, though, and only caught a glimpse of him as he departed the scene. But she saw which car he got in and followed it for blocks until his driver pulled into the lot of the IGA on Robson. Apparently, the actor waited in the car and the driver got out and went into the store. There was somebody else who remained in the car with the actor, but she wasn't sure who it was. Probably a bodyguard. Apparently, the actor looked anxious in the car. He was like sort of bouncing up and down in his seat. The driver came back with only a white paper package in his hand, which he started unwrapping before he even got the door open. It was some sort of whole fish. Our actor rolled his window down just far enough to grab the fish, but she was unable to see what he did with it because the driver got in and quickly sped out of the parking lot. I thought my friend was totally bullshitting me, but the blinds I've been reading lately have really made me start to wonder if she was telling the truth. This second blind item is from December 8th of 2020 and reads, This tipster didn't identify if it was our actor or not, so this could just be some person, some random person who has a thing for fish. Dear NT Lawyer, I am reading your website for two years. Excuse my English, please, as I am not a native speaker. I am living in the USA, California for five years now, but am from Beijing. Your blind item made me, reminded me of what I saw in my Beijing supermarket many years ago. I worked at a fresh meat counter of BHG Supermarket in Beijing, which was next to a fresh seafood counter. One day, maybe in 2013 or maybe 2014, I see a man go to the seafood fresh fish counter and order one fish. He had two black clothes men by his sides and had sunglasses over his eyes. He spent many minutes looking at the fish section and then ordered one complete fish called Pompano. I did not see what he said to the fish counter staff worker, but I see him walking away from the fish counter with a fish not wrapped, but fish was raw, so I don't think he would eat it. At closing, my superior then says there is a pompano in the bathroom rubbish bin. I tell her what I saw, and the superior says she saw the same thing the day prior. Also, my peer who works the later shift informed me that the strange man returned to the supermarket in the evening and purchased pig trotters, pig feet. He put every package of pig feet in the shopping cart and then became more distressed when my friend said there were no more. What do you guys think? Can you say traumatized loud enough for the people in the back? Because I'm traumatized. Yeah. If you made it all the way to the end, I apologize. Thank you so much for watching. I have nothing to add to this. Um, I'm freaked out. I just wanted to put this out there because I saw this video and I was traumatized. And now you're traumatized too. Look at this. Trauma bonding. Isn't that so cute? Anyway, thank you for watching. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and share. Mwah. Don't forget to leave a comment, okay? Cheers. Bye. Traumatized.